Hello everyone, welcome to another Rick's Picks. Today I'm going to be doing my review of the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtle figure, the Triceraton Zod. So, I always loved the Triceratons. I always thought they were really cool characters in the comic books and even in the other adaptations. So it's really cool that they actually came out with a figure for the comics. So what I'm going to be doing is I'm going to take a look at him in box. Then I'm going to take a look at him and his accessories. And then I'm going to give you my thoughts on them. And just remember, if you do like this video, go ahead and hit that subscribe button. It's a small click for you, but really help this channel grow. So, without any further ado, let's get to the review. All right, so here he is in box. Now, you're looking at this figure in this box, and you can already tell he is massive. Look at the size of this thing. You know, he's just huge. He's bulky. So, he's going to look really cool when I pull him out of here. And with that being said... Uh, you get this beautiful clamshell here that you can see the figure, all his accessories. You get the Eastman and Lard Turtles logo, his name, this nice comic book art, Nika Nickelodeon. All right, spin them around this way. Get the other side of the clamshell, the Turtles logo, this comic book art. All right, spin them around this way. You get these really cool pictures of him. So I'm really looking forward to opening him up because he looks really neat. Uh, the other figures that are part of this line. All right, spin it this way. You get this beautiful comic book art. I love this art. I love how they do it in the old Eastman and Lard star artwork, which really fits these characters. All right. Spin it around this way. You got the turtle logo, the top of the clamshell, Nickelodeon, age restrictions, and your warnings, and then your bottom, you got your legal and skew. So, with all that being said, let's open this big boy up and see what he's about. Okay, so here he is out of box. He is a good looking figure, and he is massive. Like I said, when I was looking at him in packaging, he just looked big. Yeah, he's even more massive when you get him out of packaging, and he's heavy too. He has a good bit of weight to him. Um... The one flaw to him is you kind of have to lean him forward a little bit. He's a little back heavy. But other than that, he's a beautiful looking figure. Let's give him the rotation. I mean, all this detail on this figure just looks nice. Even how they have like the little rips in his outfit and what have you. Of course, now that I think about it, the, uh, him leaning back will probably want be offset once I add his tail on. So, let's start going through some of his points of articulation. His head does move. All right, up, down. He, his mouth also is supposed to open. Yeah. So, his mouth opens as well, which is really cool. All right, he has a shoulder joint, a bicep joint, a, a elbow joint, and a wrist joint. Okay. Put him up like this. He does have a torso joint, so that does spin. All right, he has a thigh joint. He does have a knee joint, but it's not really present there. It's more of a swivel than an actual joint. And he does have an ankle joint, which once again, there ain't much movement there. You can move it, but I, I got a feeling he's probably one of those figures that you're not going to be putting them into all sorts of crazy kung fu positions and what have you. So, all right. With all that being said, he does come with a bunch of accessories. Like I mentioned before, he has a tail. All right. It is bendable. Okay. So let's just add that on to him. Let's see how well that just pops in there. All right. So what I'm hoping is once his tail is installed, that, yeah, exactly that. The tail helps balance him out. So once you put the tail on, he stands fine. There's no issues there. All right. He comes with a couple of hands. So he has closed fist. All right. He has a semi-opened hand. Okay. Another, you know, hand. This looks like this might be for his blaster. 
All right. He has this one here. That's a holding hand. Okay. And then he has this hand as well. All right. Ugh. He also comes with a couple of weapons. So he comes with gr two grenades. So you have one here. Another one here. All right. He also has another grenade. This one I think is like a smoke grenade. Okay. He comes with this dagger here, which is really cool. I mean, to us, this would probably be like, you know, almost like a, a really large knife. But to him, you know, this is kind of small. This is probably like an average size for this figure. Now, the one thing about this is if you're taking this out of packaging, be careful because it has a, a strap over it, but it's really tight and it's really hard to get in there to cut that strap. So just be careful that you don't damage this taking it out. All right. And last but not least, he comes with his tri-barrel laser, which is really cool. I really like that. It has a nice little strap for it as well. Um, the only thing about his accessories is that I wish he would have came with a breathing tube. Okay, so in the comic books, the Triceratons can't really breathe our air very well. So what they do is they have a tube that would come to their mouth so they can breathe in our atmosphere. It's the same when the turtles went to their planet. I think it was issue number five. When they um, go up to their planet. That the turtles actually had to wear a tube in their mouth. So they could breathe and what have you. So I think it would have been neat. To have that with him. I mean it's not a make or break. He's still an awesome looking figure. It's just. I think that would just be a neat little added piece. That they could have had. Go with this figure. Hey, are you going to be in the Philadelphia area between September 9th and 10th? If so, check out RetroCon. It's affordable. They have lots of great vendors. There's going to be cosplay competitions, celebrities, and much, much more. So go ahead and check out the link in the description. And also, Samuel J. Jones is going to be there, better known as Flash Gordon. So check it out. Greg Evigan will be there, best known for BJ and the Bear. My Two Dads, and Tech Wars. Voice actress Kathy Garver will be there. The one and only Firestar from Spider-Man and his amazing friends. Retrocon has been taken over by the Dukes. So we got Tom Walpad, John Snyder, and Kathy Batch, Luke, Bo, and Daisy, alongside with the Jersey General, representing the Dukes of Hazards. Yeehaw! Next on our list... All the way from Cybertron, the hit rock band Cybertronic Spree. And check this out, the rare Hasbro Proton Pack as a raffle prize. Now, you can't beat that. All right, so let's see how well some of this stuff works. All right, so first off, let's get this hand off, and we'll replace it with the holding hand. So we'll put his dagger in here, all right? That came off pretty easily. The new one went on pretty well. No issues there. And then... Oh, shoot. Actually, you know what? I'm going to change that up. Because it looks like this hand here is better for the dagger. Because I also want the trigger hand. Because this looks like a trigger hand and it's for this arm. So what we're going to do is pop that one back off. Put this one in. All right. Take this one out. <clears throat> there it goes. And put this one in. Alright. So, both of those hands fit in very well. I don't have any issues. Let's see how well this dagger works. In this hand. Alright. So, that fits in there very well. No issues with it. It looks like it belongs there. Let's see this pistol yeah that fits in very nicely no issues there's no problems getting it in there even the uh, trigger finger fits in really nicely in there so overall his weapons fit very good with them and he just looks really cool with them so he also comes with these here let's see how well they work so let's get the dagger out of here let's put this long one in here all right that goes on there. No issues with that. 
All right, same with the grenade. The grenades fit in there very well, so there's no issues with that. Um, the only problem I have with the grenade, actually, I want to put this back in here because that just looks really cool in his hand. He just looks really cool like that. But um, now my only issues with the grenades is I wish they would have gave him spots on his person so you could put the grenades on him, like maybe along this belt or maybe somewhere along his belt to put these. Because I think these would be better suited, you know, upon his person somewhere, like on his belt or a strap or other. But other than that, he's a really cool looking figure. I really like the look to him. I like the size of him. I think he would go awesomely with your Turtles collection, especially if you're like me who's collecting the Mirage figure. So overall, I really like him. I think he's really cool. You know, he's definitely a good figure. Like my only issues with him are minor issues. Like I think it would have been cool if he would have came with the breathing tube. And that his grenades can actually fit on him somewhere. But other than that, I would highly recommend him for any Turtles fan. He's just an overall really badass looking figure. So, with that being said, I hope you guys did like this review. If you did, go ahead and hit that thumbs up. And if you haven't subscribed, please subscribe. It's a small click for you, but it'll really help this channel grow. So, until the next one, late.